guys, so welcome back to yet another video right here on NXZ Studios. And in my last video, I talked about how um, finance is no longer accepting wise, um, uh, or transfer wise as, as a payment method when you try to trade P2P on the platform. This is very, very unfortunate. So, in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you on how you can now open a P2P trade right here on Binance with transfer wise or wise being chosen as a payment method on the platform. Let's get started right away. All right, so the first thing you have to do is let's say I want to trade. Um, let me say I want to trade GPP. No, no, no. Let me say I want to trade USD. I'm still trading USD. Let me say I want to trade in USD and I want to trade for let's say 50, 50 dollars. It's going to feel traffic people, um, those that are, you know, really, really accepting 50 dollars. And now you now come down here to, um, you know, there's going to fit out those advertisers. So it's going to fit out advertiser in which the minimum are fifty dollars or, or and above or stuff. Then you come right there to all payment. Since wise is no longer payment available, most of these advertisers now hide under uh bank deposit, okay? <laughs> to run that. Now search for bank deposit. um yeah so just come straight to bank transfer click on bank transfer then you see all of those rates you see this one is accepting 0 0.3 0 0.78 it's always high yeah it is always kind of a little bit more higher and once you click on this click on buy usdt then how much you want to buy then i'm saying i want to buy 50. i buy pi 50 then i will receive 48.16 usdt then click on buy usdt then you will open the trade. All right, so let's, as you can see, his name is Julia Saleta, the bank account. This bank account email I dropped here is, is Wise email. So the new payment method now, instead of you just start searching for Wise, advertiser Wise that you are not seeing, just click on bank transfer. And most of these advertisers on that on that bank transfer, way, it's always true transfer Wise, okay? Copy the email, and let me try and pull up my phone. Um, all right, so as you can see, I might not really be completing this trade because I'm not really having up to that particular balance of for this trade. But if I go to let me try, okay, let me let me let me try. <coughs> so once you come here, just click on send. I might not actually be completing this trade because I don't have up to that particular balance um, currently. And uh, let me go straight up to send. And uh, let me say USD, same currency, just a. If you paste the name, the email the user I give to you, you can see. You can see this email is starting with the email provided here. This email and the bank name is Wise and this. So if I decided to proceed now, if I was adding up to 50 USD, then this transaction would be completed immediately. Oh, okay. I was choosing other currency. Let me try and go back to the same currency because if you choose other currency, you realize what happens. They're trying to charge me a fee for that. But if I come back to choose a particular currency, the same currency I'm trying to trade you, which is USD, click on this, click on confirm, and if I enter my password here now, then this transaction will be automatically completed, and this advertiser or the buyer um the seller will be able to get the payment and release the coin definitely so to anyone trying to trade so if you're trying to trade on binance using wise or transfer wise at the payment time it's not working for you just simply use just simply use bank transfer and you can get it done right away with that so i hope in this video i'll be able to explain to you one of the biggest problems with the latest changes on binance and how you can get over it Remember to click on the bell icon and turn on the notification to get notified of any of my new and upcoming videos that will be releasing in the comments. Till next week, I will say again, guys, I love you and peace out.